Islam. Shalom. First and foremost, all praise on the glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechavadash. No bonds to the apostles, there's a great millstone. The sons of your brothers doing this thing is sincerity and truth that will charity. You know, well, I've heard it too, like the title says, you know, uh, please, I forget the title actually. Oh, <laughs> come on, man. It's, uh, shit. The, it says the Lord, Lord come establish your, and then Dr. Lord, Lord. Lord come establish your righteousness. Baba Kusha. Baba Kusha means please. That's what I'm asking, Lord, for me. This place, uh, uh, get the, uh, back in wrong judgment proceeded for. You no, know, it's only wickedness out here, man. All right? This shit ain't good for us. It's Israelites, man. This shit weighs on our spirit. And that's the day. I'm going to get This is Daniel 7. Twenty-five. He shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. They shall be given into his hand until the time and times and divided the time. And these laws being changed, those wickedness running through the earth. You know that affects our spirits, and it also affects the earth. Even the earth itself, you know, is, is out of course. Even earth itself is hurt. Man, animals are fucked up. Birds are dropping out the sky all the time. All right, different animals going extinct. Every, we all need the Lord to, uh, get, let's get Romans 8. Romans 8, and starting at, um, we started at 15. Really. I got the habit of it. This is uh, Romans 8 and 15. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again for fear. It's like it. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father, it says the spirit itself bearing witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high and that the children it's like, and if the children then heirs heirs of the most high and join heirs with Hamashiach if so be that we suffer with him that we may be also glorified together you want that says for I reckon that the suffering of of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. <coughs> and it says, uh, for the earnest expectations of the creatures waiteth for the manif manifestation of the sons of the Most High. It says, uh, verse 20, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. Kill slack one more. It says, verse 21, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. Right, and that definition for creature, or, uh, creature it means all things um, created. So everything is growing right now, even the heathens, man. They they fucking through, man. Esau was destroying everything and everybody, man. And that's uh, uh Nahum the third chapter, last verse. All right, it says, Who has not that evil uh passed through continually? Even nations are centered by Esau either, man. All right, that's why Isaiah 14, um, uh, what like 14 and 9, 14 and 10, it says the earth, the earth is at rest. All right. Did you attack me first? Go. Go ahead, you got the back of This is Habakkuk chapter 1, starting at verse 7, starting at verse 6. It says, Below, I raised up the Chaldeans, that bitter and hasty nation, which shall march through the, the breadth of the land to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of themselves. What? That's, that's not right. Wrong judgment proceed from right here. This Habakkuk uh, 1 and 4 says, Therefore the law is slack, and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth come pass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceedeth. Right. Wrong judgment is like, why is that? Because the wicked is in control, man. Job 9, 24. And what does the wicked do, man? St. John the 10th chapter. The devil came, uh, 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 came out, but the still killed and destroyed. And that's all we see around us, man. All right? And that's on every level, man. Esau was taking and weaponized everything, man, from, from, from. Sex to food, man. All right? Everything is just fucked up. They stick pork and everything, fuck you up. 
All right, they make uh, 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 young men sodomites. They make uh, young women whores and Gamorites. Shit, they 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 all fucked up in this damn kingdom, man. This place is hell. Everywhere you fucking look, man. So we asking the Lord to come and deliver us out of this place, man. All right, and, and the Lord said He was, and and now we asking the Lord how long, you know, wh wh when? Now we not through the Spirit though. He gave us the signs. We know this place is toast. All right, what we got? We got um. Second is 15. I got a Yeah, hit him. Hit him. So, that, man. This is Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And everyone's mourning. Like what the brother Benji just mentioned all that, man. Even the waters contaminated the air. Uh, instead of during this pandemic, as they say, they, they're throwing out food and milk when they could really yeah. distribute it to other people. Huh. Yeah, because they can't sell it. They killing off the animals because the restaurants ain't open to bag shit up and, and, and uh, fast numbers, man. So instead of you know giving out or help people out, they killing it, man. All right, one guy said he's selling his onions for a penny. All right, but how you gonna get that? People got to come to him. He can't ship it no what? Hey, government ain't fucking with it, man. Because this play, what it says, Psalm seventy three. They speak loftily against oppression, man. With the Solomon second chapter. Are they saying that which is, is feeble is nothing worth? Yes, I'm good. Um, just to touch on the judgment part, this Isaiah 59 and 14, it says, And judgment is turned away backward, and justice standing afar off, for truth is falling in the streets, and equity cannot enter. Right, man. Hey, all this, this false judgment is coming upon, man. Hey, it talks about that Isaiah the 10th chapter. It talks about they writing uh, unrighteous decrees, man. They, they can't help uh, anybody, man, because they uh, are covetous, man. You know, the scriptures talk about it's nothing wrong with the covetous man. You know, he just keeps wanting it uh, you know, more and more and more. You know, set up his own soul. Right? God, yeah, nothing works. Nothing. This is, um, what is it? Second Andrews 15. You always saw me doing that? Yeah. It's Second Andrews 15. And uh, five, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So we ask the Lord to perform these things, man. Come bring forth the uh, sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right, like I said, hey, wickedness is fucking everywhere, man. So I hope the Lord, you know, is at that point we said, hey, they, they completed their mission to. to Fill the world with this, man. And may y'all watch that come down and great wrath make a speedy riddance of this place, man. All right, that's our hope and desire. This, this shit is just fucking madness, man. Everywhere you look is chaos and darkness, man. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, since you just made that point, let's go right along with it. It says, this is Psalms 12 and 8. It says, the wicked walk on every side, and the violent men are exalted. Like your brother said, man, everywhere you look, it's just wickedness and darkness, man, confusion, man. You know why? Because they, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, like Job uh, 9 and 24 said, man. You know? Anywhere you go, man. That's right. Wow. That's the spirit. So I was literally thinking about that scripture. I couldn't picture how it worked. I'm just pretty cold, man. That's about it. This Psalm 79 it says, Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just for the righteous power tribe the hearts and reign. And hey, that's the righteous mindset to have right now, man. It's uh, going to wickedness and all this uh, abomination, all these filthy acts that take place here. It's, we want them to uh, go, man, to be done away with. We want the Lord to come back and establish his government and uh, let righteousness flourish, you know? That's all, man. Mm -hmm. I got one if you want to go with the church or something. Oh, uh, yeah, I got a piece of this. I was saying 5 and 20. 1 and 2 yeah, rooms. And call evil good and good evil. They put darkness for light and light for darkness. They put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So they vote, they vote to these people, man. Right? And all this darkness and this wickedness got to end, man. You know, and man, you get tired of this shit, man. You're tired of all the out of orderness in this world. It's no order, it's no structure. You know, you just got everybody running loose doing what the hell they want to do, man. And then it just gets vexing after a while. Like, you just tired of it, right? You don't want to keep dealing with this no more, man. So uh, you think we want to live in this? Hell no, it's time for your kingdom to go. Because, hey, man, hey, it, it, um, 
and, and the judgment of the Lord is coming, and it ain't gonna be nice, man. It's gonna be straight darkness upon this upon planet to the people. Because you want to keep loving the um the wickedness, man. What it says, um, the work. So it creates 8 11. Come on, come on. Oh, you want me to just quote it? I wanted to get it. I, I, I just flipped right to it. Like, oh, oh <laughs> not even on purpose, bro. <laughs> I got it. I, I'll read it before you break it down. Oh. Is Ecclesiastes 8 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Exactly, man. It's fully set in you people to do evil because ain't no judgment going out yet. But guess what? The Lord is about to is starting to judge you people. Look what's going on. You got a nigga just blew somebody away before I'm uh, telling them to put a mask. Think I put the article popped up, and it's funny because it's, it, the thing is even worse than that. I think he told the nigga woman that, and then she went and got two niggas to come kill him. Now mm -hmm. I gotta look at the article, but they got three. They got three mug shots there. They said the family members killed the security guard because he told the motherfucker to put the mask. Mm -hmm. So this bitch, nothing is worse than a woman, man. Yep. Got these men to kill this security guard for doing his job, but she a dumb nigga. Look, just let it go. But you let it go, mm -hmm. man. No, but it's crazy. Mm -hmm. But she just doing this fucking job. Yep. That's just the, that's the wickedness that's running around there. Right that's that uh, Wisdom of Solomon 14. It goes to it, says, these reign without exception. All right. And then it says, manslaughter. That's one of the things, man. These motherfuckers are trackers and murderers. And that's for the, hey, that's for the increase out here, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's part of the place of the Lord, man. Hey, we, this is what we're looking forward to. The Lord to bring forth his judgment, man. You know? I mean, and then, and then you say, since you said it, um, that, it, that you, know, you heard the article, it was about a woman. Oh, this is uh, Salat 25 and 25. Let me get to the point. Give the woman no passion, neither a wicked woman liberty to God abroad. So, hey, man, if it was because of a woman getting him murked, that's this is because Esau gave women liberty, man, to do what the hell they want. They can, uh, they can fuck who the hell they want. They can call who the hell they want, man. And man, y'all did that. And then you sent niggas. Y'all, y'all all uh, desire to deal with these wicked demonic women, you know. And y'all promote them to be wicked people too, man. You two thirds, man. Y'all want the wild women to be growing off and being up on top on the feathers, man. Man, we don't love that, man. We hate that. I don't want for you since you said that. This Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and the gift is toward the heart. And the wise the the, the men of Yahweh Shah are constantly are constantly vexed with the, with, with this world. Because the scriptures talk about that the, the love of the father is not in this world. Because why? Because it's wicked as hell. And it says that the uh the foundation of the earth out of course, because hey, the wicked, the wicked can do whatever they want right now. But that's only for a short moment because the Lord's taking away everything now. Uh, all right, so knowing that that was the day of good foundation, knowing that all this witness is running through the earth, what are we doing? We're crying out to the Lord. What's that? Is that Luke 16? The, uh, I believe it's Luke 16 about the servant, the woman, with the servant, the woman that, that cried out to the king. And the Lord said he bear along with his servants. That's what he said. So he said, my servants crack a team, he bear along with them. You know, we gotta cry out to the Lord, man, to come and save us. That's it, that's all shit. We can't do it ourselves. You know, we've got examples of it. This is Isaiah 63 and 17. Oh Yahweh, why hast thou made me us slack? Like oh Yahweh, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways and harden our heart from thy fear? Return for thy service sake, the tribes of thy inheritance. Look, we pray to the Lord. Return, man. For our sakes. Do we hell? This ain't, this ain't fun, man. All right. The people of thy holiness have possessed it but a little while. Our adversaries have tried down thy sanctuary. We are thine. Thou never bearest rule over them. They were not called by thy name. All right. So we, we, we come up before the Lord, man. We're not him. Hey, look. He's even out of control, man. Wicked is run to the earth. Your name is hidden, polluted. Last thing, how long are you going to continue to let wickedness run through earth? All right? Yeah, that's what you want. This uh, Psalms 94 and 3. Lord, I'm going to start at 1. I thought that loop up that slide. It's like I'm going to look. Go ahead. This is a, sorry, 1. I'm sorry. This is a loop 7. And let's start at verse 41. It says, there was a certain creditor which had two debtors. And one owed 500. That's like a. 
30. Hold on. Sergeant Little, I think that's your first name. Sergeant Little. Where's your boost? Group 18. Group 18. 18 and 9. Start at it. Oh, God. It's group 18 and 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end. That men are always to pray and not to faint. Instead of saying there was in a city a judge which feared the most high, neither regarded men. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not the most high, it says, Though I fear not the most high, nor regard men, it says, Yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her. Least by her continual coming, she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge say. And, and shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear alone with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. So that, hey, that's the point we're at, man. We crying out to him. We begging how about you? That's the point is, man. We begging the Lord to come save us out of his hell, man. All right, now we know we got a bare indignation of the Lord, so we're gonna endure through the spirit of Yahweh Bashar Shah, whatever we gotta endure. We praying and crying and begging the Lord to come deliver us from this shit, man. All right, and guess what the Lord said? He said he's gonna come and deliver us speedily. So we hey, that's that's where we at, man. Go and Terry wait for it. Yeah, Isaiah 2 and 7 and uh 6. I have said watching upon thy walls of Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night, you gonna make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence. So we hey, part of this video is us crying out, man. Actually praying and crying out to the Lord is us crying out, man. As we commanded, like he says, and give him no rest to he establish until he make Jerusalem. Judge was coming down, Cyrus. I praise the earth. The brother was talking about the cycle, like 20 cop cars earlier, man. Man, Lord, keep bringing judgment, man. All right. Come make Jerusalem praise the earth, man. So everybody can know your righteousness, Abba. And who are you dealing with? Yahweh has sworn by his right hand and by the honor of his strength. Surely I will no more give thy corns and meat for thy enemies, and the sons of the stranger should not drink thy wine, for the which thou hast labored. But they that have gathered it shall eat it and praise Yahweh. They that have brought it together shall drink it in the course of my holiness, man. That's what we ask me, Lord. Come deliver us and give us in our own land so we can enjoy the works of our hands, man. All right? Like it says, labor so you can get the rest. This is it right here. We're doing it. May the Lord come perform these things that's written speedily. No, not but God can't bring him out. Whatever y'all got. This is Psalm 7, uh, 30 point 17. It says, The righteous cry, and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. You know, and that's what, we, that's what we're hoping for, man. You know, and we're crying to the Lord day and night, you know, like, like the scriptures tell us to, man. You know, a, a uh, stand upon our watch, and what we got to do, you know, as men of the Lord and as Israelites, man, you know, and, and none of these people out here in this world, and like the said, in the name of the Lord, the truth. Is he ain't, man, these people aren't regarding the Yahweh by Shinosh at all. You know, so the, the scripture says that the Lord hears the prayers of the righteous, man. All right, you know, and he delivers them, man. You know, and that's hey, that's what we're waiting for, man. You know, we're mm -hmm. at uh, 3.17. 35 17, now. This is Psalms chapter 35, verse 17. It says, it says, Lord, how long would thou look on? Rescue my soul from the destruction, my darling, my darling from the lions. Uh, it says, I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. It says, let not them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them weep with an eye that hate me without a cause. Not right now, enemies are boasting, man. They think they got, they think they got the victory. We pray to the Lord to come, hey, like you said, why the heathen raised the imagine of faith thing? All right, we pray to the Lord to come in and, 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 and enterprise and put it into this shit, man. They think they got one up on the Lord. They boast against you, Yahweh, by Shani, Shai. They got a space force ready for you. I mean, it's written in the scriptures. Now, come, I come, Bible I come perform their word. You know? I got one for you. No, tell me why you got one. This Psalms 9 and 19, it says, Arise, O Yahweh, let not man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. 
put them in fear, O Yahweh, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Say la. So, hey, that's what we want, man. We want the Lord to come and show his power, show his might. Let these uh, uh, heathens know that they just heathens, man. Right. No less than nothing. Vanity, you know? <clears throat> this uh, Baruch 4 and 24 says, Like it now, the neighbors of Sion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. They surely the salvation is coming, man. We, we, and the enemies have seen the, uh, the captivity, they, they uh, boast and laugh, etc., etc., man. But what? Hey, our salvation is coming. What the Lord coming back? The Lord uh, exalting His name. The Lord showing that He is man. That He is the only power, man. You know, verse twenty five says, "My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High, for thine enemies have per have persecuted thee. But sh shortly thou shalt see His destruction and shall tread upon His name." Hey, it says surely, man. The Lord said, "Behold, I come quickly. Hope that that which thou hast, man." And you just got a uh, suffocation, man. Continue to uh, cry out, man. Hey, and um, exalt the Lord's name as much as we can, man. And Lord, when we we get the mercy, man. Yeah. So this Romans thirteen and eleven, and no, and that knowing the time that now is the high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation near than we believe. Right, and which all these. The prophecies that were written since the beginning, and we're seeing them come to pass. Uh, the the RFID chip became pushed heavy, which is the mark of the beast. The scriptures talk about World War Three. Uh, all of this is happening, and we're seeing them, man. This is Ezekiel nine and four, and the Lord Yahweh said that to me, go through the uh, midst of Jerusalem to. Uh, so we go through this uh, mist of the city, through the mist of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that are going there in the midst. Right? That's what we've been doing, man. We cry, and that's what the Lord is about, is about to start. He's about to start putting that mark on his elect, man, to, to keep them exempt from judgment. But that's what's coming. Hell of judgment to you people. You know, and, 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 and hopefully we don't man, because hey, we've been crying for a while, a long time, you know, the elders and their elders been crying for over a long time. So, hey, man, we tired of this, man. Hey, for a uh, thousand years. Hey, when you read Ezra, I believe it's in the seventh day chapter. I can't, I don't know about top, but he, to, he, uh, he told the angel, he said, They're not the men before me, inquire of these things. Like, hey, they was ready even back then. Even after the first chapter, the disciples, hey, when you read, because after the first chapter, they go over and match with the, Luke, the last chapter. So you read it, they were sad as hell. It was like, we thought you have a shy, was to decide to talk to you, probably raised on this day. You know, they know they were talking to you, have a shy. I mean, wow. he, he, you know, he, he came like, look, like he's supposed to be raised on this day, what's going on? So then he popped up on them. He popped in the midst of them, you know? And then um, they asked him, asked the first chapter, they said, now the time you finished the story of King of Jerusalem? We've been waiting for this for thousands of years. You know, even Abraham, he was waiting. He was waiting for that country, man. So now we really ask the Lord to bring this. And back then, you know, it was wicked as the earth, but it wasn't nowhere near as bad as it is now. So now we really asking the Lord to come deliver us out this place. We really begging the Lord, man. We really hastening, uh, hey, like you talked about going into, man. We really hastening for the Lord to bring His judgment, man. All right, to take these heathens down for all the abominations they, they're doing. When I say heathens, that includes these two thirds, man. You know, they worse than these damn actual heathens. Uh, shit. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I'm going to read the next verse. And to the others, he said, in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes um, stare. You need to have you pity, man. Ain't, ain't, ain't no, but we ain't going to have no pity. Lord willing, we get that power in that day, man. And we're going to be slaughtering you people. Because they ain't going to look. It's not going to be pretty out here. And then not only that, the Lord gonna send them angels, man. You're gonna see apparitions coming to get you. Everything gonna be coming to smite you. You already got you already got these killer hornets on your ass. That's just the beginning, man. Uh -huh. Um hey, y'all want a five a, a five phase process. Y'all gonna see a five phase process. <laughs> All right. This uh -huh. this is the beginning, you know, COVID and COVID nineteen, Kawasaki, they get Kawasaki disease out here now. And then these damn killer hornets. 
The COVID was for the old motherfuckers. Kawasaki is fucking up the young motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. 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 It said it's popping up in New York and shit. Uh, so, oh, yeah. Let's just keep going up, man. Right. Um, let's, uh, let's lose on July. Um, how do you say? Leviathan. Leviathan. The one. The Hebrew. Yeah, it's two of them. You're going to get from the land and the sea. And from space. The world will come to every angle. Uh, That's, man. Um, verse 6. Slay utterly old, young, and, uh, and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient man, which were before the house. And they just see like uh, you um the so called leaders out here teaching. Y'all got to get judged. Then everybody else gonna start getting slaughtered, man. Cause you are uh, you with the um uh, so called leaders are sending the people off anyway, and you gotta got our people into all type of madness following after this devil. You know, worshiping everything uh, above the sun on the planet, right? And you got a faith, and then everybody else is getting slaughtered too. The heathens, the Edomites, hey, y'all not running from this judgment, you hey, know? Nigga, so with the nigga Boosie on his live stream, tell a bitch I ain't a thousand dollars, put the pussy on the screen. All right. But now the nigga talking about all the sin that's in the earth, and that's why the Lord's when he's judging earth, he bring more judgment. Nigga, you, you got with these bitches, right? With, with the blood, he put the butt right in his mouth. He's all this sin in the earth. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but he got right. that, nigga, that nigga, damn demon, man. But then he got, he got our women that just put their pussy on the camera. Like he's, you know, he's all in, he's promoting it, man. I ain't one thing he wouldn't got a hard on, you know, get some shit with a bitch, whatever. But you actually tell him to do that shit. You put this to the public to make this shit, you esteeming it, man. You were steaming it. This ain't no private shit you're doing it all the time. You were steaming it. That's the big ass difference. And then you, you know how wicked you are. You lie and say you'll get him a thousand dollars and then throw the bitch 40 bucks. Yeah. And then, right. That's, yeah. That, that's wicked, bro. Like, you just basically just had her parade herself and she done for doing it. To me, she ain't even get no money. It's just it's from that right. To put, like, that's wicked, man. And the scriptures talk about turning our women off. Um, it's a horse, man. Mm -hmm. In the scriptures, man, you don't do that, man. And hey, the Lord gonna jack you up, man. You know, and hey, you, you, you a real foul nigga. That's why right. I can't listen to your music. Bro. You trash. That's why. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> granted, granted, the bitch is already a horse. So, and that that move mm -hmm. one, it wasn't a wicked that he really did. That was it's the fact that he publicized it, he yeah. promoted it. So then everybody else looking at that shit. What they gonna do? They gonna do that same shit. You yep. know. And that that actually became a trend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That became a trend. He made a song too. He made it into a song. I was no. that free. Go ahead, break it down. Oh no, but it, hey, he's pushing that uh, vibe out there. Oh, I don't know. Song called Put the Pussy Down. You know, all the pussy down. Oh, that shit. Wow. There was one that was, there was just vexation. Uh, on vexation, just looking at it. Uh, a nigga woman just twerking on the bed. Then the Check camera the roll. And shit. No, it was a different one. The camera wrote, and the, her kids were there, and the grandma was there. That's, That's the, the sparkle. She had the sparkle. She had the sparkle when she was in the, in the strip club. She did a weird little maneuver. The camera yeah. slid over. It was, uh, it was, I think it was three children. She had a, a boy that was older. He was kind of tall, too. He was like just six, seven years old. He understood what was going on. She, and he had two, like, one baby and one toddler there. While the grandma was holding the babies. Where are you guys? The grandma was holding the fucking babies, man. That's why we need deliverance, but we, people, but we're the worst because we say people need death and destruction. Death and destruction is the only cure to this place. That's why we're looking forward to it, man. All right. If there was a, another way, good. Well, here's we just want righteous to be in earth. The only way for righteous to get stuff in earth. Uh, uh you want Ezra? You talking about stuff? Yep. I you already got it. Yeah. Man, you want the spirit? Now. Go ahead. This second Ezra four and twenty six. It says, "Then answered he me." And said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel. For the word hastes fast to pass away and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. But this word is full of unrighteousness and infirmity. Hey, we just speak about the unrighteousness that this word is filled in. Hey, chiefly our people, man, uh -huh. doing all this uh, nonsense, man. Hey, our people I've, uh, became uh, likened to the heathen, man. You know, and then people wonder why. We want the, our people to get judged for this, man. It's, it's, it's plain. 
It says, but if concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee. For the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. So, you know, the evil is sown in already, man. It says, and therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down. And if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. Hey, if this place is destroyed, if all this wickedness does not cease, if the Lord doesn't come back, man, it, hey, no flesh be saved. This good son, yeah. And the righteousness, the, the place is filled with all good things, man. No, nothing bad cannot come until this place is through, man. That's right. And that's the Isaiah 26 and 10. It said, like, have be shown to the wicked. All right. I'm just getting it. Like that. I it's Isaiah 26 and 10 it says let favor be shown to the wicked yet will he not learn righteousness in the land of, of righteousness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the of Yahweh right our kingdom can't be mixed man all right Yahweh Shai's kingdom can't be mixed let me say it like that first and foremost don't yours because Yahweh Bashi transgress but don't share it with us man hey, our kingdom ain't gonna ain't gonna be mixed with wickedness man hell no the Lord has come to establish Eden, all right. When earth, the earth is supposed to be the garden of Eden, man. All right, it's like the earth supposed to be Eden, the garden of Eden. Earth supposed to be Eden, which means paradise. Everything's supposed to be good. You can't just be living it up when it's too, all this wickedness out here, man. Because then what comes into play? Wickedness. Now it ain't just sex. Now they having sex with animals, dead bodies, beasts. All right, all type of weird shit. Now they even just drinking. They uh, uh, out of balance with the drinking. All right, commit adultery, doing this, fucking each other up. All right, getting it to even have your drugs, it ain't even just you know, you have like um, county OT or some shit. They got relaxing teas, these motherfuckers ain't even into that no more. They into meth and shit like that. Everything gets exceedingly wicked. They ain't gonna be like that in the kingdom. We're gonna get to enjoy the earth, and the only way that can happen is this wickedness is taken away. All right, that's it. This is Galatians 5 and verse 9. Just the back of the point, the brother said it says a little leaven, leaven the whole lump. You know, so hey, ain't gonna be no mixing, you know, uh, wickedness or righteousness in the kingdom, man. Because they, they're like, even when you went to Esther, you know, it, it showed you, hey, uh, the, the, the king, you know, his, his wife basically, you know, uh, disobeyed his order. All right, and what he do, man? He took her out, he took her, you know, he, he cast her away, man, because what he said. He said, hey, if she get away with this, then all the other women are gonna look at it and they're gonna do the same thing. And that's, 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 that's the, that's the breakdown, man. You know? Yeah. Hey, you, hey, a little eleven, eleven, the whole lot. One of my wife's people <laughs> for real. Wickedness, like, yeah, hey man, you getting vexed about that shit, man. Mm-hmm. That, that's why you women do that shit, man. You right, you know, you women see something, you make do it. Yeah. In Second Peter three and ten it says. Right there? Ah, <laughs> Second Peter three and ten it says, but the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. And what's the works in this world right now? It's wickedness. Okay? Everywhere you look, it's wicked. Fuck it. He saw we don't make this, man. He could have left shit in glass bottles. They used to get beverages and shit. It came in glass bottles. You would recycle those bottles. They were clean and reuse them. Now we got this shit to destroy the planet, man. Hey, um, they still do that at peaks with the, um, like you get lemonade. They got the pink lemonade in yeah. glass. Oh, you, know, yeah. you, know, you get to bring it back and they um, recycle it. They um, use the bottle, clean it out, reuse it because um, the bottles is, um, the glass is good, good for use, man. To yeah. actually make it um taste get better and pure. So they still they still do that with certain things, bro. And that, they should be doing that with the water. Why they put it in glasses, man? Come on, man. This ain't fucking good for us, man. All right, so these words gotta be burnt, man. That's right. it. Man. Verse eleven it says, "Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, 
what manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So that's one level of, hey, look, the word's going to this place, so we should be one to be on point, man. Out of the, the ter- nor the turn of the Lord will persuade men. All right? The fear of the Lord drives away sins. You know? Uh, uh, we just pray with the faithful in the womb, so that's the spirit we should be in. Now, you know, uh, I don't want to say unfortunately, but prophetically, look, our people ain't going to get right, man. Two-thirds of them ain't going to get right. Only thing for them to do is to be destroyed because they don't want the Lord. They don't want the mercy. Now when Shaq came on the scene, he worked miracles. All right? And our people killed him. They murdered him. All right? So look, we we know we got to do. We're going to cry to the Lord. We're going to do this work. So we can get that rest. And we pray and hope that the Lord do it speedily, man. Next verse. Bible for sure. Verse 12, it says, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Most High. So that's the spirit we should be in. All right? Uh, 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 knowing the Lord is coming to me in the spirit of fear, but at the same time, we're looking for and we ha- we hoping the Lord brings this day fast. All right? It says, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. It says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Uh, as we're looking forward to then, righteousness. Reigning in the whole earth. And Isaiah, a part of the prophecy says, all your children shall be righteous. All right, we're going to, it said they're going to play with the asp, which is a poisonous snake. They're going to be playing with the lions. All right? So, all right, you not want that. You can't even let your kids go outside in your damn backyard. You have a whole gate up. You can't let them go outside by yourself. So damn white van pull up now, your children go. Well, the laws are going to be written in that, in, in my mind. Never even go off, man. Right, how can you not want that? We fit a low as a state down here, man. We ready to get the hell out of here. We pray to the Lord that He does that speed. This is us. Uh, Psalm 6. And one, oh your how rebuke me not in thy anger, neither chastise me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O your if I am weak. O Lord, heal me for my bones are vexed. My soul is also sore vexed, but thou, oh Yahweh, how long? We vexed on every side. Of the air. It says uh, uh, a conversation with the wicked, vexed, righteous lot. You know, that's the same way we feel, man. Just, man, you can't do shit this place without saying some damn sodomite or what, man. And promote it. Trying to make you feel weird. They got a big ass beard talking about some, uh, 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 he getting, I, I, he, I'm getting money out here. He going to say if he want to fucking turn your ass, he going to do shit like that. So you want to let a gay man set his dick, you okay, we'll get his rocks off. And he called us weird for having beliefs that hold us back. He said he free. And we got to deal with that shit, man. How long would the wicked man speak so proudly against the Lord and his, his statutes, his commandments? All right. Return, O Yahweh, deliver my soul. O save me for thy mercy's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of thee. In the grave, who shall give me thanks? At this rate, they they wouldn't be no righteous men left. They trying to do us like uh, Elijah thought happened with him. Take us all down. And he was the last one left. You know, nobody gonna be left to praise y'all by Shem Yashem. That's that's the real desire of Esau, Edom, and the wicked. They already tried to take the name of the Lord out the earth. They trying to do it again, man. I am weary with my groaning. All the night, make out my beard to swim. I water my couch with my tears. You know, this is poetic. You know, he's going to just the amount of crime we do, man. All right, this is a sad ass kingdom. My eye, my eye is consumed because of grief. It was oh, because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity, for Yahweh had heard the voice of my weeping. Yahweh had heard my supplication. Yahweh received my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. So we know the Lord got us, like he said right here. And he still said after that, hey, may the Lord. Come do these things. And the Lord put this pain on them suddenly, man. You know, may the Lord do something dramatic, man. ASAP, man. So tonight, wake up with, with some good news. Some good news, man. Oh. You know? And it's great to say the Lord brings forth his judgment every day. And we can love no shame. May the Lord bring some great judgment tonight, man. And then escalate it more and more. Lead up into war, Mark of the Beast, World War III, and nuclear destruction, man. May the Lord come perform all these things as written, man. Oh, I'm speeding. Oh.
Oh. Fuck out of this looking ass place. Ain't shit here. Wow. But death. Wow. You said uh, about that valid question. I got a uh, spirit for you talking about you. You're talking about free. This is our first Corinthians 2. I'm going to start at 13. Which, which thing also you speak it not in the words which men wisdom call talk teacher, but which the Holy Spirit teacher comparing spiritual things with spiritual, but the natural man receives not the things of the spirit of the most high power of God, for they are foolish unto him, neither can he know them because they are spiritually deceived. And they ain't discerned. I mean, discerned, huh? So a lot of these um these people out here, man, be saying I'm spiritual, I'm free. No, you doing that on a wicked, wicked level, man. You're not doing that righteously because the next part said, but he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judge of no man. So you're not being spiritual. So all you people out here saying I'm spiritual, I'm free, you being a vow of fashion. How's that uh you being a big vow popping another man getting sucked off by a man? Is uh is living free of spirit too. I'm spiritually uh searching. I'm 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 I'm, I'm being spiritual. Well, how? Well, I mean, I, I hate when people say that, man. That's a real vexing, like, because you're not being spiritual. You're being wicked. You following the left hand side, man. You're going off into Esau, um, uh, and that's why I said with um John eight and four and four. You yeah, but your your father the devil and the lust of your father you would do that's the name y'all do the lust of um, this damn devil man that's wickedness man you gotta be out of your mind to one of this proper man man and get sucked up by a man that just the one of desire to just go do it like come on man that's right. demons you need to pray that's what you need you need, need death <laughs> Lord be <laughs> over to that that's all they got yeah. man I mean you really can't go for it but. For the most part, they ain't gonna do it. Yeah. I appreciate it. this. Uh, first Peter four and four says, "Learn they think it's strange that you run not with them to the same excess of." Um, this is Proverbs 29 27. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way it's like in the way is an abomination to the wicked. And that's that's really it, yeah, man, because this is why we can't the scriptures talk about Amos 3 and 3. Uh can two walk together unless they be agreed. We're now he's a Uh, the father out of the house now now you have uh children being uh, raised by their mothers and their mothers are whores now their children are are, are monsters and then for the next generation to come their, their, their monster children are even more wicked than the ones before and th this is really ve uh, vexation to the to the uh to the the, the righteous uh because we know how our people should be if i can get to real quick this is four and five Behold, I taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye shall do so in the land where ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is the, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. And that's not how the heathen look at us nowadays. They look at us, they look down on us. Uh, it's in, I believe it's in the book of Lamentations. Yeah, right now. Huh. Water, because hey, our our people are supposed to be wise. Our people are supposed our the heathens are supposed to look upon us and say, "Hey, because they they steal everything off Jake. We do everything better, but they take the credit and they don't and they don't give nothing to they don't give no credit to to the Israelites. Right. They just call us bums. We they call us deadbeats. They call us all these negative terms except for the good. It's lamentations for one. I was the gold become dim. I was the most fine gold chain." The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold, how are they esteemed as earthen pictures, the work of the hands of the potter? You know, Israel wants this, this country of gold, you know, great gold. Now we look at it as like dust. You know, we look at it like dirt, man, clay. 
crown and says all the all the nations that walk by they hiss and wag their head they clap they oh. clap at me time so his limitations 2 and 15 like, like, <laughs> limitations 2 and 15 it says all that pass by clap their hands at thee they hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem saying is this the city that man calls the perfection of beauty the joy of the whole earth they're doing the complete opposite they're supposed to looking they're supposed to be looking up to us that says the Lord, that says the scriptures, uh, you're a God, but you shall die, uh, but you shall die like men. And we are the, we're the, as the scriptures talk about that I have chosen thee to be a special people unto the Lord thy God. We are supposed to be above all these nations, but we're, we're below them. Why? Because we, we've been taught their wickedness, we do their wickedness, and we exceed in their wickedness. When you talk about, uh, uh, about a, a homosexual, Jake takes it to a whole other level. Drag queens. They, they bring it to their children and just a whole bunch of wickedness that you when you really when you really put it when you really uh think about it it really vexes your spirit if you're righteous or you, you try to have that righteous mentality this is jeremiah chapter 20 verse 21 says yeah i have planted thee a noble vine it says a whole it says holy a right seed it says how then art thou turning to a degenerate plant of a strange vine to you know, and so the Lord say, you know, he, 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 he uh, planted us a noble plant, man, you know, and he basically uh, chose us, man, you know, a choice, you know, uh, basically uh, basically that, that that top that top seed line, man, you know, that wise seed line, man, all right, it says, holy, a right seed, how then are there planted to that degenerate plant of a strange vine to me, all right, and here, and here, look at Israel now, man, you know, hey, just don't got no type of morals, man, all right, you know, uh, just, just out here being like the heathens, man, being wicked, you know, turkey. You know, basically strangers into the Lord, man. You know, but we're supposed to be that 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 like Chip said, we're supposed to be that wise nation, man. You know, that wise and understanding people, man. You know, holy, man. You know, this is right there, fifty nine, and um, yeah, I definitely not in that. Therefore, is judgment far from us? Did the dark justice overtake us? We wait for light, but behold our spirit for brightness, but we walk in darkness. We grope for the wall like the blind, and we grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noonday as in the night. We are in desolate places with bad men. That's the state of our people. You know, even us, man, we was in the world lost, going to fuck off, doing whatever witness came to our mind. Whatever I fucking reflect on you, that's what we fucking did, man. All right? My words woken us up, though. We roar. Like bears and more sore like doves. We look for judgment, but there is none for salvation. And it is far off from us. For our transgressions are multiplied before thee, and our sins testify against us. For our transgressions are with us, and as for our iniquities, we know them. In transgressing and lying against Yahweh, and departing away from my power, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart the words of falsehood. And judgment is turned away backward and justice stands afar off. That's all this world teaches. That's all people know, man. All right, lies and falsehood. That's what they promote. This uh uh folly setting great dignity. For truth is falling in the street and equity cannot enter. All right, you are lame for being this truth, man. They look at you weird, right? Do they like the fuck? No, actually they're lame. Lame means you're not able to walk. They got on the path of the Lord. And they would turn around and make something we on some weird shit, man. I mean, I saw a video on Instagram. And um, it was like a, a party. It was a little kid party. And the, the kids, and I say little kid party, I mean little kids, bro. The kids is grabbing money. It was cash on the floor. And this little girl twerking. And they just put their throwing the money on her. And nobody's parents are stopping these motherfuckers. They were toddlers. Like three, four, five years old, man. Nigga women, man. Nobody stopped. They picking the money and putting on it. Twerking like a rat, like an adult, like she, she watched her mama do that shit, man. That shit was fucking vexing. And then the shit is up on the internet, which means whoever recorded this, this adult that recorded this, thought this shit was cute. I, I hate that shit growing up, man. My, my little sister at the barber, they want to make her dance. Said, what the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? Like, that shit is madness, man. Then 
Man, she was mad. I tried to get my grandma to buy a dress one time. She wanted to buy this red dress. And this shit like some horse shit. It's it straight horse stuff, man. The question is fucking listen. That's cute. That's the mindset of our people, man. We need deliverance. Man, there's no judgment right here, man. Falsehood is promoted, man. Everything is against the Lord. Everything is backwards here, man. And judgment turned away backward. And justice started to far off. For the truth is falling in the street, the equity can't enter. They don't even want to hear it. So ain't no fucking uh, other way to do this, but they got to be uprooted like that second entry said. Only way for righteousness to come around on earth, these wicked motherfuckers got to take me down. All right? And I say, and that's talking about all the wicked, man, the heathens, Esau, two-thirds of our people, all right? Yea, truth fell it. He that departs from evil make themselves afraid. That's because we turn away from evil. Now they, 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 they come against us. They they, they mock us, they scoff us, they ready to kill us. Niggas are pour guns out on us. Niggas are pour knives out on us. Niggas are spit on us. Niggas do ice cream with brothers' faces. Niggas do cold water in brothers' faces. They, they done did everything you can think of, man. All right, lied on us. Called the cops on us. All because we don't want to partake in wickedness. And all we do is speak words. We're not being violent against them. All right, a bunch of hypocrites, man. So now what? We pray the Lord come bring violence to them. You got a problem with us, man? T to hell with you. These motherfuckers the, the, the trying to kill us over and over again. In our past lives, they have killed us, man. So now we hope the Lord come bring his judgment, man. And the Lord saw it and displeased them, and there was no judgment. He saw that there was no man. You know oh. He saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his arm brought salvation to him. And his righteousness is sustained him. But he put on a he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head, and he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing, and was clad with zeal as a cloak. So we're looking forward to the Lord coming with this vengeance, man. All right, come deliver us out of hell, slaughter our enemies, man. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay. Fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies. To the idols, he will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and its glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him, man. And what's that? The Lord's going to bless his servants with power, man. All right? The Lord's going to bless his servants with power. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and that Redeemer is Yahweh Shai. That's that same arm we read up about. And unto them that turn from transgression of Jacob, said Yahweh. As for me, this is my covenant with them, said Yahweh. My spirit that is upon thee, my word that I put in thy mouth, shall I depart out of thy mouth, from out of the mouth of thy seed, and out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, said the Yahweh, from henceforth and forever. And how can you not want that? It said, this word is going to be in the mouth of our seed, and our seed seeds ever, man. That's our children, our grandchildren, our great, 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 infinite children, man. All right? All righteousness. No niggas. In this, in this society, you can have a fucking son. He grew up turned to be a faggot. I was my fucking man. I'll be locked up. I have to put that motherfucker to death. At least I contemplate on it. I'll be wiser than that. But I'll be fucking pissed off. Right. I remember I, uh, a woman told, like a girl in my class told me, because I, I didn't agree with her with homosexuality. She told me, if you had a son, what would you do? I told her, I'll cast that motherfucker out. I wouldn't even care about that kid. And they told me, wow, you, you're really going to be like that? Well, that, I always say you cold. Right. You know, with, 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 all, all these people say they love the Lord. They do I mean, I wouldn't want to punch you motherfuckers in the face, man. Because I don't believe the Lord and I don't love the Lord, man. You niggas is hypocrites, man. Yeah, what, what you, the scripture, hey, me just saying I'm going to just put him to the side and got me what I really would do to him, man. I'm going to put him to death like I want to, man. That's like mercy. the scripture says, man. That child, hey, uh, homo homosexuals are tormenting in your own mind. Mm -hmm. That's why, hey, look, this ain't shit I made up. He saw, you know, like it says in Psalms, he did a diligent search, man. He got all the statistics. Suicide is highest in the homosexual community. Why is that? Because of plague from the Lord, man. Uh, there was a lady I used to talk to, her brother with a homo. He, he said, he, he uh, got on the phone and said, I know the Lord won't kill me. He said, I can't control it. He said, I really don't want to be doing this. Like, I really don't want to be gay. He said, I can't control it. It's like it's a demon on me calling me to keep doing it. And that's exactly what he said out of his own mouth. He said he don't like doing it, but if the demons control him, man, that's, man. that's the Romans, the first chapter. It said they know the judgment that they not only have pleasure in doing it, they have pleasure in getting others to do it as well. You know, that's why most homosexuals they got a thing they don't even deal with 
openly gay people, they like to convert so-called straights to gay, which they, they was already getting to deal with. But the point is, as they be on, they want to convert the, the, the straight ones. That's just the wickedness of it, man. But they know they're going to be destroyed, man. That's why they freaked out and killed themselves, man. Under told me, she said, this problem is way to die. You know, coffee munching ass, man. My grandma's called her poor dad. <laughs> I, was, I was speaking to a brother, and uh, you know, he had worked in like a mental institution. He said most of the people that came in there was in there for depression because they was, you know, uh, they were sodomites and stuff. Man, they get a lot of, you know, basically they was in there because of that. And was killing right. themselves. So oh. it was statistically really high. You know what? It's um these trainees that get their surgery done young, they try to sue the doctors now. Hmm. Like, look, you should have questioned me before that I was young. You should let me just come in and get this shit done. They realized that was a mental thing, man. And, it, and that's too late. All right? So this man got him taken down. Hey, all that the brother DeWatt read that parcel in there too, man. The whole world is mourning, man. You know? This is uh, Galatians 4 and 16. I might therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth. So you hate not you hate the messengers, man. But we're telling you nothing but the truth. And when you hate the messengers, you, you're ultimately hating how about Shai because we're preaching nothing but his word. And hey, you hate us, and guess what? We hate you as well. Like King David said, we hate you with a perfect right. hatred. Right. So that's why when when, when uh, two thirds of our people die, we're gonna rejoice, man, because you you deserve it. And, it. Yeah, and you know it's how cold to you. So fucking what? That's judging. We love that the Lord loves. At the end of the day, we know that they're going to be back in the kingdom too, man. All right? They'll be cool then. Right now, they need death to save them for themselves. Shit, like, we need salvation to save us from ourselves. They just wait more often to the left-hand side. All right? Yeah. This is Mark 39 and 25. It says, for the good thing, it says, for the good are good things created from the beginning, so even things for sinners. The principal things for the whole use of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour, wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil, and clothing. All these things are for the good to the godly, so to the sinners they are turned into evil. So right, man, you come, you got um food, they want to cook pork, uh, and, and many other abominable things. You got uh, sex with your women. They want to commit adultery. They want to be homosexuals, man. You got to relax and herbs, man, and uh, good medical things, man. They want witchcraft, man. It, they just turn everything to wickedness, man. You know, you got uh, beautiful clothes for women. They want to have crop tops and uh, bras and wear lingerie outside with Air Max, man. It, it's just, they just turn everything to evil, man. I got I got this rock 10 and 10. It says, a physician, physician cut up off a long disease, and he that is today a king is... It's like yeah, he that today is a king, tomorrow shall die. They two thirds of our people, they are just uh they just need to die essentially, man. So they can get it back in the kingdom, man, because they too far gone, man. You know, the best thing to do is is for them to be put down. Hey, hit uh, uh verse four. All right. Uh the Sirach ten and four says uh, actually sorry on one. Yeah. One through four. The Sirach uh ten and one it says a wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. It says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. It says, an unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. Right. And that's way no man. The Lord has set up Yahweh Shai to reign for having righteousness, man, through the spirit of Yahweh. All right, because... This this current this current ruler is fucking the world up. All right, it says as the as the man of the ruler is so is the people. All right, this ruler is wicked as all hell. So this people is wicked as all hell, man. All right, and that ain't no good for us. All right, as uh, children of the Lord, it is no good for nothing that is, exists. All right, they running through everything. Trees, the rainforest getting fucked up. Trees fucked up. Animals extinct. All right. Then the ones that not as big pigeons are eating cigarette butts, man. They ain't in a pigeon's diet. When is a cigarette part of a pigeon's diet? She so got all this concrete around him. He just picking that shit, man. He don't know what the fuck he grabbing. Now he fucked up. All right, man. That shit is mad. His dolphins get caught up in fucking six packs of uh, uh, pop plastic things, man. All right. Animals, you know, the whales, they just swallow, when they swallow the plankton or whatever to eat, 
Let it open enough for white to eat it, man. But all that plastic caught up in it too, man. That shit since they started, they fucking died from that shit, man. They be fucked up from it, man. Animals with cancer, koala bears with what's it, syphilis? It is crazy. They need deliverance, man. Psalms 120 and verse 7. He says, I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. You know, so like you said, man, it might sound harsh to you, man, because they, hey, you know, hey, what we're saying, you know, hey, we want this place to go down, man. We want this place to be destroyed, you know, but hey, guess what? We also need more peace, man. We want righteousness, man. All right, because once this place is destroyed, and then can the good come, man? You know, so hey, hey, we only, hey, man, we want righteousness, man. You know, so hey, you people want to be in this, this place, man. Hey, hey definitely too, man, you know. It's uh, Malachi 4 and 1, it says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. It says, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and he shall go forth and grow up as the cows of the soul. Wait, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for Yahweh to come back, man, and to restore all things, you know, heal the earth, heal his people, man. You know, and set up that rights and rulership so everything can be back in its uh, proper balance, man. All right. Now, I'm trying to hit that position. That's what I'm saying about the rules. We get these last, uh, you know, last precepts. Right. So, <clears throat> uh, I'll go. <clears throat> this first Peter, I mean, second Peter 3 and 3, <clears throat> knowing this first, that there should come in the last days sculptors walking after their own lust and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of, of the creation. For well, this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of the Most High Power, the heaven were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Exactly, man. So, hey, man, you people got, like, how the earth got flooded, man. Y'all didn't have knowledge to understand what was going on. Y'all didn't care. Y'all was willingly ignorant of. Y'all were destroyed, man. Y'all were stalking. Y'all mocking. And if you be wrong, it's going to say this. We're by the word that then was being overflowed with water perished, but the heaven and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept and stored, reserved into fire against the day of judgment and perditions of ungodly men. So, yeah, man, you got to get burnt now. You know, you, you already drowned. That wasn't good enough. For you. Now it's time for that fire to come, man. We're going to see how fire is. You know, they. Both terrible deaths to drown the death, you know, or get but getting burnt. Man, come on. You want to enter fight? That's the way, man. That's what you people want to get fight. If you want to stop, you want to talk shit. And the Lord tired you, man. Um, verse 8, but beloved, by not be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and that thousand years is one day. So, amen. The Lord. See all y'all waking, it's like it was yesterday. You think he ain't, he ain't gonna got tabs on you people? He, he got a, a man, he's the, bomb, the number one hit man. You can't be better than the number one hit man. You about to go, you got, you about to mark all you niggas at once. <clears throat> the Lord, the Lord, the Howard is not slack concerning his promise. And some men count slackly, but is long suffering, suffering to us work, not. Willingly that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And you people ain't coming to repent. He gave you a chance to repent. And you think it's a game, man. Like he slept. Like the Lord ain't about to do nothing to you people, man. Like ain't nothing gonna happen. He just gonna say, forgive you and love everybody, right? God love everybody, right? And he gonna show you how much he loves you when you're killing your way. That's love, motherfucker. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord, the heaven will come as a thief. And the night, and in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt, uh, shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burnt up. And you, hey, a lot of you people are going to be forgotten. Little Boosie, little Wayne, all of you wicked niggas. Man. Michael Jordan, LeBron Michael James, Jordan. Michael Jackson. Yeah. All these names, remember y'all niggas. Man, you gonna get all y'all works is gonna get burnt up. Burnt up. Nobody gonna be thinking about that in the kingdom of heaven. You know what they're gonna be all praising? The elect, the ones that stood for the truth, standing out here, doing the work, you know, getting, getting, getting mocked, 
getting um, beat on, 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 on getting a, uh, a cute, um, people trying to kill you, being fools standing out here to you people, you know, for your house shot sake. You know, amen. Well, them gonna be the man that's gonna get prayed. And amen, a lot of them, you're gonna be seeing them like before when this stuff hit the fan, like, damn, them was the man of the Lord. And you're gonna wish, like, why did I do that person like that? I shouldn't have did that. It's too late now. It's too fucking late. I ain't no, you ain't no, I ain't no turning back, man. It's too late to apologize. Well, you ain't about to apologize now. It's time to get that ass man. <laughs> Is uh Revelation seven and one, and we're all going to be a part of that elect. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw an another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Right? And that's talking about the elect, the, the 144,000, man. They're going to be delivered, and the one third. But the Lord said, not, Hurt not the earth, nor the sea, till my elect be sealed. So once the elect are sealed, hey, all chaos is going to break loose. And if you're not part of that number, hey, you're catching judgment. Right, right man. And we, we happy that the judgment is coming. We happy. Because guess what? That's when you're going to be right. When your ass get born back, it's a nut sack Israel. Right. Hey, it ain't even worried about your ass, really. We have because that's when you get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. That's when the name of the Lord, how about you, Hashem, is praised and known the whole earth. You know, nobody's gonna be blaspheming our power no more. Nobody's gonna be able to talk they shit. Oh, uh, we lowered the co the numbers of COVID cases. Not God. Nobody's gonna be able to speak boast and boast against the Heavenly Father anymore. Everybody's gonna know that not only is God real, they're gonna know that Yahweh was the Father, Yahweh shot the Son, and we are His children, man. You know? Yep. Oh man, yeah. I know. Yeah, exactly, man. All the blast, like you said, all the blasphemy, all the talk, and then you know, all you gonna hear is praise, man. Right. People gonna have to come to even the heathens in the kingdom gonna have to come praise the Lord, sit down and bow down. If they don't come, you get judged, man. They're gonna praise the Lord for us. They're gonna yeah, bow down exactly, to us. Man. Right, they're gonna bow down to us. All right, and uh Isaiah said, Whoever will not come and cut them for us, uh shall be killed, man. Whatever nation that don't do it will be killed. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Put me. Mm -hmm. the second address, 15. And seven, therefore, said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching our wickedness. This is what we're looking for. We, this, this man, really hoping that this right here is the Lord, this COVID shit, this Kawasaki shit, and Hornets, all this stuff is happening. And may this be how about you, y'all shout out, fulfilling this right here, man. I will hold my tongue no more as touching our wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly, wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the soul of the just complain continually. We complain right now. So may Yahweh Bashan Shai be bringing his judgment down now, man. May this be it. Come make the speed of readers in this place. I will bother for shot. And therefore, said Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with the mighty hand. And they stretch their arm and smite each of the plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. That's what we for, man. The Lord to bring our salvation, which is the destruction of the wicked. Point blank, period, man. It's hell this place, man. That shit is a vexation of it. Like King David says, oh, my soul is sore vexed, man. See, I, even our soul is crying. Think. Man, man, hope it is edifying. All praise on the glory too. Yeah. Double honors the apostle that was very millstone and something you first born to stand sincerity. The truth and with charity shall alarm the Bible. Bob.